Watson Chapel, alma mater school we love so well. Through the shade and through the sunshine we thy praises tell. Guide and guardian of our youth, we would honor thee. Be the champion of our truth through e eternity. Well, Otho Gold is here again today perseverating about school memories. And I just wanted to share something with you about school fears. You know, growing up, you had lots of fears about school. You know, rejection by peers, fear of bullying. There were always gangs running around who wanted to bully kids. Not being able to get a date for the prom, losing your lunch money when you were little, just all kinds of fears. But fear of the principal was foremost in the minds of many. Now, Otho's principal was nicknamed Doc. Not sure how he got that name. Some people said that he was in medical school and flunked out, or, or maybe he was a doctor at one time and lost his license. Anyway, those kinds of rumors are abundant. But Doc was believed to be an ex-boxer, and he wielded a constant scowl on his face. He was a big man who stayed in his office with the door closed. And when you were sent to the office, you anticipated meeting the Board of Education, or sometimes called the Board of Correction. Now, Doc's Board of Correction was a huge thing. And because most people had never seen it, it was just supposed to be this grandiose board that he had to wield with two hands. So you can just imagine what kids are thinking of, uh, about the idea of, of having to be sent to his office and have that board of correction applied to their backside. Well, if you were rowdy and were unfortunate enough to be sent to the office and be introduced to that board of correction, that was really and something. fear of Doc permeated the entire student body. You did not want to get sent to his office as one's mind would just start going crazy imagining him wielding that big board and applying it to your buttocks. Now a big fear that Otho had was having to sit outside the school classroom as punishment for misbehaving in class. You know, the teachers, they just set you out in a desk and, and you had work to do out there. Or sometimes you just sat out there and you were completely ignored and weren't participating at all in the curriculum. Sometimes for a whole period, have to sit out there in the hallway, empty hallway. Well, you know how there are fearsome sharks in the ocean? Otho imagined Doc to be a shark, but not in the ocean. He was a land shark. And because Doc was a land shark who patrolled the halls, one of Otho's greatest fears was becoming food for Doc, the land shark, who could shred his buttocks, not with his teeth, but with a board of correction. Sitting in that hall, in a desk, being punished while classes were going on was not something Otho liked to do because it was like being in the ocean and being an injured fish in shark-infested waters. Thinking the whole time that that land shark might come right down that hallway, baring its teeth, and getting ready to shred Otho's well, butt. Needless to say, Otho survived his school days and his buttocks are intact. I've lived to, to tell the tale of this school fear. Y'all be good. Protect your backside. Don't misbehave in school. And oh my lord, don't get sent to Doc's office.